Divorce Support Anonymous, a little bit of Christmas, how not to let the divorce Grinch steal Christmas this year. This is Kathy Beatty with Divorce Support Anonymous. I'm so glad that you joined me. Thank you for allowing me for this past 23 days to jump into your life space, to hopefully give you some things to think about, to kind of change your direction if you're going in a negative way. And uh, we know Christmas can be difficult for many people, especially the first one after divorce or the fifth year or the 25th year. Sometimes there are still those difficult times during the Christmas season. So I want to jump into your life and see if we can't change a little bit of that. So a few announcements, of course, January 4th. Seven o'clock, I'm going to do a webinar for probably about an hour. We're going to talk about moving forward. And we're also going to talk about something that's going to start January 11th, and that is life coaching after divorce. We are going to begin looking forward, friends. We're going to stop looking back. We're going to stop regretting. We're going to stop thinking and dwelling on those things that have happened in the past that we have no control over. We are going to begin to be proactive and create a plan for life in the future. And I am so excited excited about having you join me. Connect with me. I'll get you a registration form. It's going to look like this. It's going to come to you and you'll fill that out quite quickly. And then we will add you to the group. There is a cost to that, however, very inexpensive. So um, I hope that you will be joining us also on January 10th. If you have not gone through a support group, I would encourage you. It is so incredibly important for you to be with a group of people, a community that really gets where you're at and is sharing some of the same feelings and frustrations. So connect with me. I'll get you a registration form. I would love to see you involved in all three of these, but at least one for where you may be at at this season. So it is the 23rd of December, two days before Christmas. What are you doing tonight? Are you busy um, wrapping, tying up loose ends? Are you sitting watching or getting ready to watch a movie? You can't be watching a movie while you're watching me. Um, but are you, are you making plans? Are you doing something tonight that I hope is enjoyable? And the reason I ask that is because I want to ask you a follow-up question, and that is, what do you need right now? What are you doing right now? And what do you need right now? And you may discover, well, I'm just kind of sitting here doing nothing and, and quite um, sad or um, feel hopeless or just don't know what I'm doing, don't know what I'm supposed to be planning what I'm supposed to be doing because I am in this bad space, this negative space. And so from that, I want to ask you, wherever you are, where do you need a breakthrough? Where do you need some transformation to take place? Maybe it's one area in your life. Maybe it's finances. Maybe it's one area in your life of anger or not being able to get beyond the betrayal that's happened to you. Where is that one specific spot? And there may be several, but pick one. Where is that spot that you need a breakthrough, that you need a real transitional change? In other words, where do you feel stuck? Do you feel stuck in that um, being so obsessed with the betrayal that happened to you and you are stuck there and you're ruminating going round and round and round is that where you're, where you're stuck is that where you need the breakthrough then i want to ask you a couple of other questions where's where's the way where's the way through this life is too short and precious for you to be stuck or to be in the darkness that you can't find light to get through to get out, to make the change. Where's the way? Well, the way can come a couple of different things, a couple of different ways, but for sure you need a tour guide. You have never been here before. And so to expect that you could handle all of this and know what to do is preposterous. You need a tour guide. That tour guide may be a really good, helpful book. That tour guide may be a support group, a counselor, a pastor a dear friend, a 10-week group that's coming up January 11th. 
where you could help define and, explain, define and explain what it is that you want your future to be? See, not only can you not do this alone, you need a team. Who's your team? Who are the people that are supporting you and encouraging you and giving you words of affirmation and direction and hope? Who's your team? You need a team. You cannot do this on your own. You need a tour guide. You need a tomb. A tomb. You need a team. You need a tour guide. You need a team. Who is your team? Who are those people? And sadly, some of you will say, I don't have a team. I don't have people that are coming alongside of me and encouraging me or saying, you can do this and being a cheerleader and believing in me. I don't have anybody. Well, that's why you need a support group. It amazes me when I, I hold these groups and I've done it for the past 17 years, several a year, I usually three, sometimes only two. It amazes me the bond that is created within this group. I've always said once, just like you would never forget the people that you were in uh, the trenches of war with, you'll never forget the people who go through Divorce Support Anonymous with you. There's something about that connection, that understanding that just deepens a bond between total strangers. But by the end of those 10 weeks, a lot has changed. A lot has changed within the participants, within the group dynamics, how they're connected. Don't miss the opportunity to experience that. Don't think that you have to because you're prideful and you don't want anyone to know that you have stuff going on. We've all got stuff going on. It just so happens you have stuff that other people are going through that can help you through this stuff. So as you think about that, I want you to think about something else and getting unstuck moving forward. First of all, you have to be aware you have to be aware of where you're stuck. And that takes real honesty with self. It means tearing down the pride and saying, I need help. And here, this area is where I need help. So we have to be aware of it. Or we can just go on blissfully ignorant for decades and continue to waste life and time and hurt ourselves. So number one is awareness. And secondly, we have to be able to define it. We become aware of one area and then we define it. I need help in my anger. I don't know how to control my anger. I have done some things in my anger that have hurt deeply some people that I love. We have to define it, define the problem. And then we have to find the course. We have to find the way through it. Where do I go from here? Remember I ask up here, where, where's the way? We have to find the course. We have to find the way in which we move forward. Many of us cannot do that on our own. So we need to get counsel. We need someone who is going to direct us. I am lost in my anger and I honestly don't know what to do with it. So I'm going to seek out someone who's going to help me. It can be a counselor. It can be a group. You know, it's interesting, anger, when we discuss anger in the group. It's never just one person who struggles with it. There's always someone else because it is such a common experience as you go through divorce in many areas. So whatever it is, whatever that area is, whether it's loneliness or anger or um, wanting revenge, or self, um, self-loathing, not loving ourselves, not being compassionate to ourselves, all those things we need counsel on. We need, we're not going to miraculously have it resolved one day if we don't intentionally work on it. And that's my purpose in working with you through this month of December, but also in January, 
because I want you to begin to look forward and have a plan. For the sake of the time of your life and the value of your life, don't go through divorce alone. Get the counsel that you need. This is Kathy Beatty with Divorce Support Anonymous, walking with you every step of the way through the trauma of divorce and the Christmas season.